Okay, so uh, um, conscious contact with God and thinking. And um, okay, so uh, there's, there's levels of consciousness. So to the level there's identification with thoughts. The more there's identification with thoughts, uh, the more, the lower is the level of consciousness, i.e. the more one is in ego consciousness, the more one is identified with the stream of thoughts. So the more one is identified with the stream of thoughts that are passing by, the more is the experience that one is the thoughts. So the, the experience is I am the thinking and a conscious contact with the infinite or with silence is like something alien because really my true nature is I'm a thinker. Uh, and then, but sometimes I can get glimpses of this stillness or this silence or this or the witnesser. So, um, so, so the thinking, the level, you know, the level of identification of thoughts means that there's a more of a, there's a lower vibration. There's a low, one is more in ego consciousness and therefore, um, one is using the thinking, i.e. praying or uh, doing self-inquiry to get to the stillness. But even if you glimpse the stillness, um, it feels like it's something alien because one's natural state seems to be heavy thinking. Uh, if, you're, if you've done a lot of spiritual work, then you will be almost like in a place of very light thinking uh, with, the, with not many thoughts and therefore, uh, it, hardly you need to use thoughts to get uh, conscious contact. Uh, it can be almost like you might, there might be some words said, but it might not even be the ego that's saying them. The words may spontaneously come out of nothing and one may drop into the silence or the stillness or the witnessing, the witnesser. Um, and and at, at a certain level, when you're more or less at the level of oneness or the infinite or the stillness or the observer, then no words are required, you see. It's just, uh, it's just a remaining in the silence uh, that is before the thoughts. So let me give a metaphor. So let's say you're, uh, there's a group of people in a cinema and there's a screen and there's a movie on the screen. Now you've got one person who's like so identified with the movie that they're in the movie and they don't even experience themselves as being separate from the movie. I mean, there is no them, they're just in the movie and that's their experience. They're always in the movie. They've never experienced being not in the movie. Then you've got someone who's got an experience that they're out of the movie, but they're half in the movie and they're half watching the movie, but they have an experience that uh, they're there's a them out of the movie and they're also engrossed in the movie. So that's a higher level of consciousness. And then you've got another person who's totally unidentified with the movie screen. Uh, so they don't even know there's a movie going on and they're just sitting in silence, you know, and you've got these three individuals. So those would be the different levels of consciousness. So one is really in the movie, i.e. is in the thinking. Another one is half in the movie and half watching the movie. So they're kind of like half thinking and then they have to try and, you know, say a few words to say the movie is not real. And then suddenly they're in the silence or they're in the witnesser and the movie disappears. And the other one's always in the, is always in, is in, is in the silence or the witnesser that's not even, what I call the non-identified or detached witness. The, the, the very detached witness that doesn't even experience the movie, the movie doesn't exist. They're just sitting there in silence, even though the, the other two participants are one is really in the movie and does not even have any detachment. The other is half in, half out, and the other one doesn't even notice there's a movie going on. So that would be the metaphor of you know, do I have to think to make conscious contact? Well, for the first person in the movie, if they did a prayer in the movie and they suddenly got a glimpse of being out of the movie, then that's quite radical. You know, they were in the movie trying hard to get out of the movie and they got a glimpse of that. Well done to them. The other one was half in the movie and half watching the movie. So they might say a few words, but they weren't really in the movie that much in the movie and they come out of the movie and it's not too difficult. And the other one, there isn't anything to do or say because they're never in the movie. And even if the movie was going on, they wouldn't notice the movie. So that's, uh, that's, the, um, that's a description of uh, 
you know, conscious contact and thinking. I hope that was uh, clear anywhere else.